my name is Emily and I'm from the Wapiti Regional Library. Today, for Creative Corner, we're doing art prints. These art prints can be done using any colored paper or paint that you'd like. The design does not have to be the one that I have shown here. For these art prints, we're going to be using cardboard. So if these cardboard prints sound interesting to you, then keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. What you'll need is paint, scissors, glue, pencil, sponges or rollers, or even just paint brushes, thick and thin cardboard, and paper. For adults and older kids, you can pencil outline what shapes, designs, and things you want on your print. Remember that whatever your design, it will come out reverse. Cut out the design. For little ones, parents can pre-cut cardboard pieces in a variety of sh shapes for their child to create from. Grab a thin piece of cardboard to use as your backboard. Glue your pieces onto the backboard. After letting the glue dry, you can now make a print using sponges, rollers, or even a regular paintbrush. Paint over your design. Flip over onto a piece of paper. Press gently and remove. Cardboard prints can be made over and over using different colored pen papers or different paints. This can be hours of good fun that you can display for years. I hope that you enjoyed making these super easy art prints at home and I encourage you to try swapping out the paper or the paint colors to try different combinations. Another cool activity that you can do is if you're making multiple prints or if you're making prints with friends and family, use all your prints together to make a bigger and better design. So say I made another print with a rabbit, I would first take my rabbit, 
paint it the color that you want your rabbit. Push against it to make sure that it goes nice and neatly onto the paper. Then you're gonna want to wait for it to dry and then you take my flower and sun and put it on top of that using a different color or multiple different colors with the sun being one color and the flower being another. And then you'll have a bunny in the grass. It'll be super fun and cool to see what you guys create. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in for another creative corner. Bye.